Let's talk a little about the quickening. It must be realized at this time that which could be referred to as the frequency waves which hold the present earth consciousness intact are being fractured by increased frequency waves currently focused upon the earth and its many species. This phenomena is being caused by both natural occurrences as we enter the heightened effects of the photon belt, as well as deliberate actions and manipulations of what could be called divine intervention by our galactic brothers, who are benevolent to humankind and wish to assist them in the raising of the vibratory rate of the species upon this planet. This means not only the two-legged human variety, but the beasts, the owl, fishes, and plant life as well. All is consciousness, and all is divine. There is no special group, species, or order. Planet Earth and all her children are healing towards a graduation into our fulfillment of a divine plan. Also at this time, there is a phenomenon of the warping and fluctuation within the layers of the time-space continuum. These time-space continuums are of our perceived reality which is little more than the prolonged experience of a time-space event. We are beginning to experience sensations of living in multiple time-space events because, in fact, they will be overlapping and merging. It will sort of feel like you are living in two worlds simultaneously. Or perhaps some might experience even more than two. You might be experiencing this when at times you feel like different people, as if different personalities are your expression. Your sleep patterns will become erratic, and at times it seems like it doesn't matter if you have slept a full night or a few hours. People will change in front of your eyes with the passing of each moment. You will see their true intent behind the masks. All of you are becoming clairvoyant. We can say, see now if we choose. No one said it would make things easy though. Truth is the order of the day. Nothing which is not harmonious to the true nature of our spirit will be able to cling to us with the intensifying of frequencies that are presently occurring. That which is false will literally be ripped away. So expect radical changes to occur within relationships and life circumstances. Like the earth, we will experience a lot of rumbling within as we break out of our limitations that bind us from our fulfillment of being. We are also beginning to experience the phenomenon known as hollow leaping. This is a hollow leaping through time-space experience. Many of these experiences will seem abstract, perhaps even surreal in nature. There is much that has been and continues to be manipulated by science, such as the multitude of, air quoting here, rips and artificial time-space continuums that were created in and around Philadelphia and that was called, I believe, 
the Philadelphia experiment and the many others that the world governments have tried to keep under wraps. Tried is a key word there. No success. There is a lot of negative energy flying around out there in the marketplace, due mainly to the inability of people as a whole to grasp the bigger picture of what is really going on here on planet Hollywood. For instance, it has been said that the Earth's magnetic fields are de degenerating. And I have even heard one teacher say that our sun's magnetic poles have degenerated to the point that they appear that they have vanished. This is entirely incorrect information, rather. What is occurring is our own frequencies are rising to such heights that we are moving above what was once our norm. There is a lot of you that have not been told. Now, for instance, there have been many times that our own people have, through technology, possessed by our military institutions that you are not yet aware of as a people gone to other planets. There have been times where they have actually commandeered ships, weapons, and other things including beings with the hope of gaining technological information. We have been doing this since the 30s. It has all been accomplished with extraterrestrial technology. We have had a long relationship with those beyond the stars. Time is collapsing. We are experiencing more space between our experiences with less congestion of conflicting energies. Perhaps it should be realized the degree to which we've had to exist within a polluted, overloaded sea of contrary emotions and energies that did not allow the space for something new to occur. We are creating a new paradigm, a new consciousness, as we prepare, um, as we prepare for unlimited thought and reality. We are feeling creation in process. Trust the process. The quickening. I was at Lake Mead in Nevada about two weeks ago. I was asked to do some ceremony there. One of the things we became aware of there is that the land has a number of bulldozings to camouflage the un unusual nature of some of the rock formations there. Formations which clearly indicate a massive explosion of indeterminable proportions, which were fused back together seemingly in a moment. Mm. Okay, so something is hokey here. What really scared us was that the result of the USS Eldridge being zapped here on four separate occasions created a strange radiation that is emanating from the area. I believe without a doubt that the water is extremely toxic and radioactive residue. That is direct result of this experiment. When I was asked by an interviewer from a local television station what it all meant, I replied, love each other more. Love isn't corny. I cannot emphasize how important it is at this moment to place ourselves into the love vibration. For what you are embracing in your hearts and consciousness this very moment, so shall your path be as we enter the final stages of the shifting control of our emotions and focus upon that which, which that which we desire to experience within our realities is key. 
Our choices now will determine the manner in which our life experiences are realized in these final days. It takes just as much energy to create lack as it does to create abundance. It is all a matter of choice. I was having lunch the other day when I was in Las Vegas at a very electric table with Uri Geller, Z Zachariah Ch Sitchin, and a few others that were discussing the deliberate actions by our own governments to manipulate weather conditions through their, air quoting, double quadruple air quoting, harp, end of air quoting, experiments. Angels don't play that hard. These experiments are causing the natural order of weather patterns to be totally thrown off kilter, meaning that we are almost out of control. The freeze of 96 and 97 will prove this to be one of the worst winters ever experienced in the history of the U.S. The conversation went on to bring up the issue that not only was HARP, being used to manipulate weather, but it was also being developed to manipulate human emotions. Now, is this starting to sound like a Stephen King story? Is it? Truth is strange than fiction, yeah. Also discussed was the intensity in which the United Nations is backing up programs all over the world, the U.S. included. These programs are deliberately infecting populated areas with infectious viruses. Now I ask you, why would the governments of the world deliberately spread infectious viruses to the world population? engineered to kill specific groups? Huh. Well, the answer comes out of your asking yourself, why would they initiate such a policy? This goes right back to a program adopted by the UN back in 93 in Brazil, which they called, air quoting, biodiversity. Henry Kissinger said, 75% of the world's population is no more than useless eaters. What the horror show is really about is that many of these viruses are now mutating. Science has no cures in sight. Population control is getting to be big business with the governments of the world. I have been working on ways of healing these new forms of viruses and cancers for several years. You see, I have a sister, Osage, and several years ago she came down with the Navajo flu. I worked on her. She is well today. Many of us sat deep in ceremony to find out the cause of the strange virus that only seemed to affect people of Native American descent. So, ask me about Hantavirus, the common name, Navajo flu. We can talk about genetically engineered viruses here, or would you like to discuss the Native women who, while going to government clinics, were being sterilized while supposedly receiving immunization shots? I strongly recommend you do not get immunization shots under any circumstances. Tell your friends to refuse these public genocidal policies. People can refuse based on religious beliefs. People can refuse, period. That's just me chiming in. Yo, <laughs> and goes full here. There are ways that you do not have to conform. They cannot force us to take the damn shots. At least not yet, but I'm not even going to say that. These maniacs are literally killing our children. This is not a joke. Do you want to talk about Dr. Jonas E. Salk, Reese Monkeys, and the polio shots in 1947? And the millions of people who today have retrovirus. 
As of the last few years of the 20th century, we are in the midst of a major health crisis in America. There are viruses that are taking root in our animals, fungi, fungi, in our planet, in our plant life, as well as humans and animal life, genetically engineered prisons and virus and fungi that respond to frequencies. Sounds like a horror movie, yet it is also true. These viruses are not natural, and in more cases, than, com than is comfortable. The outbreak happens after immunization programs are introduced into the area. Are we being murdered by our own government? Ask yourself this shit. Pardon me, more. I say bring the question to the people before it's too late. Allopathic medicine is a dinosaur. And it is being perpetuated by corporate policies developed by thieves. It is like the organized crime. If they heal you, they are out of business. Reason it out. Perhaps now it is time to consider a different course of emphasis. We might think about switching our focus from the phenomenon of what is occurring to what it is we could be doing to accommodate our inevitable destiny. How and what do we do to make this transition easy? What information is out there to help us prepare, you may ask? Well, we have UFOs, Ayurvedic healing, and holistic healing, and they're all very real. If we come together and work as a force of one humanity, in the end, we will move through this time of confusion, for we are the ultimate survivor race in the universe. Oh.